Okay, so another thing you want to do to prepare your lasagna is either in the morning or you could do this the night before. You want to soak your seeds. So today I've chosen just to soak sunflower seeds. You could do a sunflower and pumpkin seeds. That's totally good too because that's what I usually use. But today I just decided to do just sunflower seeds. That's about a cup. And I've got also soaking some a cup uh, of equal parts of pine nuts and cashews and that'll be for the cheese and then I've got also soaking for my tomato sauce because I'm going to be doing a tomato sauce lasagna uh, these are some cut up um, oh my gosh I'm losing my train of thought here cut up <laughs> tomatoes sun-dried tomatoes so you just want to re-soak those, get them nice and soft for when we make our uh, marinara. So we'll be back to show you just how. Now let's prepare our zucchini. I was so grateful to a neighbor who has given me two huge zucchinis. So what I've done is I've, pe I've chosen to peel them. You don't have to, but I do like that because I want it to look like a real lasagna. You can see no green skin. Um, I also prefer the taste myself. And then I'm going to cut them in half because they would be pretty long slices. I mean, I could do that, but to make it easier on with my mandolin slicer, which I highly recommend you get one of these tools, okay? Because then you can not only control the, the thickness of your slices, but then they're all consistent, right? And that's important when you're uh, preparing food. So. Okay, so I've sliced that up and I'll just show you. I wear a glove, which looks pretty nasty now, but this glove protects you from getting sliced, okay? It's an added protection. So you wanna try and keep the pressure the same all the way through and you'll see how quick it is. Like I'm already almost halfway through the zucchini, okay? If there's a lot of seeds, which sometimes these bigger ones do have, I may just turn it over now and do the other side and leave this the center part where the seeds are. That's totally your preference, but you can see the slices we get, right? Right there. And so then the next thing you want to do is get a tray, a cookie tray, put paper towel on it, put your slices on top, like so. Keep doing that. Sprinkle them with a little bit of salt and that brings the water out in them. And then layer paper towel on top of your slices. And you can just keep doing layers and layers of that. And then let them all sit for when you're ready to make your lasagna. So I will come back and show you how to do the lasagna. Thanks. How to make um, our ground for our lasagna. So I've got about a small to medium onion, white onion. I've got two peppers that I've chopped up, put in there. And I'm also gonna be using my carrot pulp from my juicer. So that's a great way to use it up. And then I've got all my spices here. I've got the psyllium husk powder, so that'll help combine it, keep it together. And then I've got my soaked sunflower seeds. Okay, so let's first quickly chop this up. You can see how quick that is. Add your carrot pulp. I don't always put the carrot in there, but I thought, why not? It'll make it a little sweeter. Add some bulk to the sauce. And I've got my sunflower seeds. I use my hands a lot and I, it's about a tablespoon of the psyllium husk powder pinch of salt basil because we're going for more of an Italian traditional Italian ground I've got parsley you can use fresh of course if you do fresh, I would suggest blending this first and then adding it and mixing it up because you don't want to overblend fresh herbs. 
got, of course, oregano, key ingredient. You can put quite a bit in there. Say about a teaspoon. But judge it yourself, it's preference. Got my Watkins black pepper. Okay, some you can put fresh garlic or garlic powder. Just in because I'm doing this quickly. I want a quick video because this process takes a little longer to make the lasagna. So that's a chipotle. So I'm gonna put, I don't know, a pinch full. And like just a little bit of heat. It's not a lot. Okay, and that should be it. Let's blend it. Kind of want to check on it just to mix it up a little bit, help the blender. It's looking pretty good. Try it again. And yes, I get rough with the appliances. <laughs> it's not going to harm it. It just helps shake it up because, of course, it's sticking together already. So as you can see, just pull it out of here and show you how quick that is. It's great consistency, and I'm going to put that in the dehydrator for maybe about 45 minutes to an hour. Just get it somewhat um, cooked, even though it's not cooked. Um, and then you'll see that it's going to look even darker and, and more like ground. And then that's going to go in our lasagna. So I'll be back to show you how to make the marinara sauce. Okay, quick video again on how to make a quick cheese sauce. I've got my soaked pine nuts and cashews, about a cup, an equal amount of each, roughly. It doesn't have to be exact. Um, so they've been soaking. Now these ones didn't soak as long, but that's okay. Um, I think it was probably two hours. They're still nice and soft, so should be fine, especially with the Vitamix. But ideally, you want to soak them for about four hours minimum um, or overnight would be great. And I've got for our cheese sauce, you need some nutritional yeast. I don't have a heck of a lot, so I'm going to do with what I have. I've got a pinch of salt. Put that in there. And then we've got two garlic cloves. I'm gonna put the remainder of this nutritional yeast in there. So that's the part that makes it cheesy. So usually you wanna do at least, I would say three to four tablespoons at least. Um, but unfortunately, I probably don't have that much. We'll see how it tastes. Probably still taste okay, cause it'll be like a garlicky cream sauce. And then I'm gonna put a squeeze of one lemon Juice out. And then what can give it some color too is some turmeric, which is it's also good for you as well. Put some turmeric in there. Maybe like a teaspoon, not even. And then we'll blend. And we may be adding some water, so we can just have some water on hand. Let's see, we do want to add probably about one fourth cup of water, but what I would suggest is just doing it a little bit at a time. So to help get it started, I'm just gonna put about a tablespoon. You don't wanna overdo it. You do want a nice thicker sauce. So let's blend. So if you see it gets too hard for it, just kind of take your spatula, mix it up a bit, and then add a little bit more water. So that wasn't enough water, so we're going to add some more. So you just want to 
want to do a little bit at a time. of the water it does thicken up the longer it sits but we are going to be building our lasagna pretty quickly here See how much easier that turned now and look how smooth that is that's what you want now it's nice and smooth look at that so that's the consistency you want mm, it's perfect looked out awesome so that's how to make your cheese sauce and i'll be back to show you the mar marinara sauce Okay, back for a quick video on how to do the marinara sauce. Now, I didn't even rinse out my cheese sauce because I figured why not leave it in there? It'll make it a little creamier, okay? So we're gonna add about, I think that's about six dates and make sure they're nice and soft. If not soft, then make sure that you soak them first, okay? Especially if you don't have a Vitamix. And then I've got one big garlic clove. I caught up some, I've got three tomatoes. I like Roma tomatoes. These are also, there's some from my garden. Um, so use whatever tomatoes you have on hand. So it's about three small tomatoes. Um, I've got the soaked sun-dried tomato. So we're gonna add that. And then save the broth, because what we can do is add that into this instead of some water but we usually don't even need water in this recipe um so a pinch of salt we've got oregano again because this is our more traditional lasagna you just judge it you know about a teaspoon basil and of course you can add fresh as well which i may add at the end pepper I like pepper okay let's see how that is first and then we'll taste it so we're gonna just blend it up quickly that blends up it's not uh, there's no water required so we won't even use that uh, sun-dried tomato broth because it's you do want it kind of thick right because it's a tomato sauce so you can see how that looks like a tomato sauce and if you really wanted it really thick you could also add mushrooms to it or you know other things like peppers onions um, that's probably what I forgot too with some onion so I'm gonna get some onion powder it's really good actually on its own even right now but I think I'm gonna add some onion powder since I forgot to put a chopped onion in there and then let's blend it up 
And it should be done. That easy. It is getting thick. Wow, it's pretty thick. Look at that. You see that? So the dates just add that sweetness to it, right? And that's all you need, guys. You've got your tomato sauce. You don't want to overdo it with the ingredients because really we're going to have layers of ingredients in that lasagna, right? So you don't really need a ton. You just want it to have a good flavor, but make it more simple. So I hope you enjoy this, and we're now gonna go to the next step, which is preparing the lasagna so I can get it in the dehydrator so that it'll be ready for dinner tonight. Okay, so we're ready to put our lasagna together. I've just put some tomato sauce in the bottom of a pan, and we're going to start layering, and you can see how pliable these are because they've been sitting with a little bit of salt and paper towel, and now they're super like noodle-ish. You're gonna do your first layer. Try and do this quick, because I'm sure you guys know how to do this part. Yeah, see how nice and noodly they are? Alrighty. You've got your first set on. You're gonna put some sauce. So it's nice and thick, so just feel free to just spread it out with a spoon. I like to use a wooden spoon because it's a lot so softer and easier to use. Just like so. And unfortunately, I just realized I don't have Parmesan, so that sucks. So normally I would sprinkle some vegan Parmesan on top, but that's okay. I know it's still gonna be delicious. And then next, I've got my ground here. So let me just grab a spoon. So this is what the ground looks like when you take it out of the dehydrator. And you're gonna just crumble it on. It's already crumbly. So you don't wanna overdo it in the dehydrator you want it a little bit crispy but not much because you want the moisture you want it to be nice and you know just like we're eat what we're used to right okay so we're going to do several layers since i have lots of zucchini so about there is good and then we're going to layer some look at this beautiful cheese sauce See how easy that was to do and look at it. Ugh. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna spread it like so. So this is in replacement of like having to grate cheese, right? That's the joy of this too, it's so much easier. Everything's just like steps in a blender really, and a food processor. So that looks good there, right? Now, next, so you can see with my tray here, they're soaked, the paper towel is soaked, right? And that's what you want because all the waters come out of them. Okay, so next layer, we're going the opposite way. And I won't show you all, and I will just be back to show you what it looks like at the end. So don't forget to keep watching. Okay, so we're all set to put this lasagna in the dehydrator. So what I just did was I topped it off with the rest of the tomato sauce, the marinara, and a little bit of the cheese left over. And it's going in for about four, four and a half hours. Just depends on your home, so just trial and error. Um, but yeah, I find four hours at least. Four and a half is great. Um, and it still is, you know, really moist too inside. So it's not like a dry lasagna or anything. 
So this should be interesting to see how it works without the Parmesan. <laughs> but I'm hoping my husband will pick some Parmesan on the way home and we'll be able to sprinkle it on top. I hope you enjoy this recipe. My husband Brent. Taking the first bite. Smells good. <laughs> How is it? Damn, that's good. <laughs> that's you like good. It? Oh yeah. It's just like the lasagna, right? Like yep. texture and everything. Have a slice in there and so we can take a look. See how it cuts easily. It's nice and tender. There you go, not dry at all, right? Ten? It's a twenty. <laughs> Thanks, babe. <laughs>